Hey boys and girls, so today's lesson is for Wednesday, March 25th, and the first thing we want to do is we want to go over our packet and where we are. Um, if you're keeping up with us, you're on week two, day two, and you're going to start with an article about a lady named Patricia Bath, and to, Patricia Bath helped um, with a tool to get rid of people's cataracts. So read more about that and fill out the, the answers or come up with those questions that you, um, those notice and wonders that you think about the story. And then for our foundations or our phonics, we have two sides to each page, just like we, we normally have. And um, the first page talks about suffixes. Remember, suffixes go at the end of a base word and they change the meaning of a base word. So what they want you to do is write the base word, and then after that, write the suffix. So you're splitting it up. So like for thankful, you know that thank is that base word. You'd write thank, and then full at the end, and then they want you to come up with a sentence for it, just like we do in class. Like, uh, I'm thankful that you guys are safe and at home. And then on the other side, we have prefixes. Now prefixes we haven't talked quite as much about, uh, as much as we have with uh, suffixes, but prefixes, we've talked about the idea of pre, like you preheat the oven, that means to do it before. A prefix is just like a suffix, except it comes at the beginning of a word. So there's things like un, which means not. So what you're going to do is the same thing, just reversed. Instead of taking away the suffix, you're gonna split that prefix and the prefix you're going to write first because that's the first thing you're going to put down in a word. So unhappy, un means not. You're going to take the prefix un and write it down and then put the base word happy and then the meaning in this case, not happy. So you'll be able to come up with those pretty easily, I believe. And then math, we're continuing. They talk about, um, they're talking about shapes, um, 3D shapes. So yesterday you probably did the first page, today you can do the second page, like cylinder and sphere. Um, those are the big things that you really need to, to work on. And hopefully you're keeping up with your packet. And if you have any questions, please have your mom or dad reach out to me in blooms. So if you look around at our basement classroom, it's looking a little more like our regular good old classroom. That's because on Monday, before we had to stay home, Mr. Whitley got to go into our, our classroom and get some of the big things that we use. Now, I couldn't take all our posters because we have a ton, obviously, but I took the big three ones that we, we talk about the most. So we're talking about our spelling options with our long vowels. Um, our double vowel teams, which are the things we're really hitting on. We know we left on our second to the bottom row. Um, all those double vowels that have two, um, two or more sounds to them. And then over here are our controlled vowels. And actually, I was working on our controlled vowels with Quinn this morning. I taught him the pirate patch R sound. So we'll get to those. And if you look down here... We know we're not going to library right now, but I have our library bin and it's filled with lots of read alouds and um, geodes and oh my goodness, we just happen to get something that we really need. We happen to get a, a meter stick. A meter stick is what we were talking about yesterday. So when we are discussing units of measurement, we were talking about on a ruler, if we're measuring in centimeters, there are a little more than 30 centimeters on an inch, 12 inch ruler. We also found out that in a meter stick, one meter equals 100 centimeters long. So that's a little more than three rulers. It's three rulers plus 10 more centimeters. So if we were in class today, what we would be working on is we would be doing lesson 9-6, and we're talking about estimating lengths in meters. 
Now we talked about the fact that an estimate is like a guess. An estimate is when you use information you already know to come up with what you think an answer could be. So we're doing some estimating today. So I'm going to have you, after I kind of show you what I want you to do, I'm going to have you go around the house and pick about three or four things that you can estimate that you'd think would be about a meter or that would be uh, an object that you would want to measure with a meter. Now, let's look at, hmm, we could come over to our futon, our sweet 1980s futon. So, if I wanted to measure how wide this futon was, which tool do you think would be better to use? Now remember, when we're measuring, it's better to get it done faster than it is to take a longer time to do it. We're all about getting it done quickly. Right, but quickly. So take a moment. Would it be faster to measure the width of my futon in a, if a ruler with 30 centimeters on it or with a meter with 100 centimeters? Now, that's pretty easy, right? You probably wouldn't want to go with the, the ruler. You would put that down. You would go with the meter. Now, I want you to look at this meter. And we know we, we compare me to a meter. So this meter stick is a, about half of my height. So if I sit down on this futon, there's about half of me. Take a minute and come up with an estimate. How many meter sticks long do you think this futon is?